Let's talk today about one of the biggest areas that I see a lot of you struggle with when it comes to dropping 20 plus kills, which is losing pace because you die. If you've been here before, you know this is how I break down dropping 20 plus kills. Six kills in the first circle, six kills in the second circle, four kills in the third circle, and then four kills in end game gives you your 20 bomb. Where I see a lot of you struggle is the mid game, the second and third circle. What do you do if you die? How do you regain and get that momentum back to really get back on pace? We're gonna be paying attention to that in this game, which is a 22 kill duo trios win where i die four times and we drop 44 kills as a squad but we're going to be paying attention to why do i die and how do i go about regaining that momentum to get back on pace i think a lot of you take way too long to get that regain process going which costs you valuable time and then you come up a few kills short as we're getting loadout right here didn't really have much happen early game we're going to pick up a kill right here but as we're grabbing loadout if you are looking to get better rebirth or fortunes keep just consider subscribing down below i do videos every single day just trying to help people improve and start to get more kills so we're going to go ahead grab loadout right here we do have enough for a uav which is really going to be helpful early game and when it comes to dropping 20 kills we got a quick loadout which is a huge advantage we're going to be able to take advantage of the fact that people aren't fighting with loadout guns they may be split from the squad because they're looting they're trying to get that loadout and we're going to be able to take advantage of that pop uav i noticed one is on my level right there to my left so we're going to go ahead and challenge him we're going to anticipate around this corner and we're going to pick up a few kills right here and then we're going to end up going down we get the thirst nobody around me so let's go ahead and push up notice that there's two above me three or two on my level to the left or kind of straight ahead of me and then one down below so as we challenge around this corner we're going to anticipate right in here we're going to be able to hit the throwing knife immediately challenge enemy number two now notice that because i took a little bit of damage i'm in a good position to challenge this enemy right here we're able to execute get the down and thirst now we're not going to be paying too much attention to execution we'll talk about it a little bit but i really want to focus kind of on that regain process i'm immediately going to go challenge this guy over to the left that was on the radar right and we're going to immediately go challenge the other thing that i will say is i was going for a 30 bomb here which is why i'm playing like this crazy crazy pace but this pace is not necessary to drop a 20 plus kill game i was on 30 and then kind of slowed down but you can still drop 20 even if you die now we died the first time right there because i missed shots that is what it is it happens so my options right now aren't really much right i don't have a loadout that i can hit and when we talk about regaining the first thing is going to be one kill one kill gives us plates it gives us ammo it gives us information and then we can start to play based on that information information and start to be more aggressive the second thing is going to be fighting with loadout guns i mean loadout guns are an advantage now i don't have that option right here so my decision was i know i just killed a bunch of people over here you know i got three or four kills over this way so i'm going to go ahead and drop back in here and kind of use that to my advantage i'm able to grab the type 11 i have a plate we're going to go ahead i hear one around the corner after i grab the marco so we're going to go ahead and challenge now notice that slight hesitation there where i didn't anticipate that's a mistake that gives him a window to do damage but ends up not being a big deal now we get information i got two above me i basically hear this door open and you can kind of see him right here you can kind of see him right there we'll go ahead and pull back so you can see it a little bit more clearly we're gonna reload i hear the door right there so we go ahead and we're gonna pull back because i'm not plated so i'm not fully ready to engage again so now we're gonna go ahead challenge right there a little bit of strafe and right here notice this we've got seven kills so we're on really good pace we're actually on 30 bomb pace right here but all of a sudden there's my smg again and understand that in rebirth you primarily are going to be fighting with your smg so that's kind of the most important thing ars you can get away with you know if this guy had an m13 i'd be okay if this guy had you know a craig i'd be okay even though the craig's in the meta but even if he didn't have the best ar i'd be okay to still challenge people what i really want to focus on is getting my smg back we're gonna go ahead and quick plate and now we're back in a rhythm right here all of a sudden we're regained we've got that momentum back because i have that smg don't have any throwing knives don't have any perks right i don't have combat scout or quick fix and i don't have any stims but we're lucky enough that we're able to find a throwing knife right here we're able to challenge this guy we get the down we get the thirst there's information people back basically all spread out one's right below me over on kind of the cluster strike area so i'm gonna go ahead and quick plate and as i'm pushing up 
I just missed that guy, and he's just sitting there. That is a totally separate team. You're going to see right here how he challenges. He's going to challenge that guy. He's going to drop down, and I'm going to run right into it. So once again, I lose my loadout guns. I lose my pace. Now, this is the most important thing. This isn't really mid-game, but you need to understand this if you want to start dropping higher kill games because this is going to allow you to make better decisions. Loadout drops 15 seconds before the first circle finishes closing. So a lot of you would probably dive down right here, especially if this was like 25 seconds. If I had 25 seconds right here, a lot of you would dive down, you'd go somewhere, you'd go close to your teammate. I'm just going to wait. I know that loadout is coming right now, so we're going to go ahead and float over that way. Now, as we're floating over, kind of in a bad spot, we're a little bit out of the action right now, but that's okay. We're, we're still going to get in the action. By the way, in terms of the 20 bomb pace right now, I'm plus two. When I talk about dropping that 20 bomb and using that 20 kill kind of breakdown, Real quick, by the way, sniper looking directly at us before we jump in here. You know, understand that's just the guideline. I don't want you to think about it too much. I don't want you to get nervous when you get six kills in the first circle. I just want you to use it as a guide to understand that you are on good pace. You just need to keep executing and keep putting yourself in engagements. Now, we're going to go ahead. I challenge this first one right here. We break. One, we tag the second. So I'm not going to overcommit right here. I'm simply going to slide to the heady. I'm going to use this loadout to my advantage to be able to get that down, and then I can immediately challenge this second guy. So right here, as we slow this down, like I said, we're not going to talk too much about execution, but I do want to highlight this situation in particular because you can kind of see how fast everything happens. First of all, you notice how I dodge that sniper. As soon as I see that glint, I push right to avoid the bullet. Now we're going to push up. We're going to play heading number one. Then we're going to immediately slide behind cover right here. We're going to challenge that guy and then immediately challenge enemy number two. And that's really smooth right there. Notice I don't take a whole lot of damage. Now we're back. We've officially regained in a second once. Actually, we haven't regained here because I'm going to stim. We're going to go ahead and pull back because I know there's people around me. I'm going to reload. I don't have plates, so I'm not regained yet. I'm not in a good position to start playing aggressive again. Although we're able to catch this guy after we reload. We get the down. One above, one down below. So grab Satchel. We're going to use the stim. We're really just going to make a play here. I'm going to grab ammo once again. The SMG is crucial to success on Rebirth because of the situations that you're in. Let's calm down for a second. A lot going on right there. A lot of pace. A lot of movement. We're going to go ahead... Now we're back. Now we're back in the action right here. We're going to go ahead and see what we can find. One in the stairwell. This guy is going to challenge me around this left side. Right there. See him. Come on. Challenge the window. Doesn't challenge the window. Trying to see what I can find. Over to the right. He's pushing all the way back. And we barely can't get that down. Now I'm not going to go chase that guy. By the time I get to that player, he's going to be long gone. He's going to be played it up again. There's no point in me chasing him. I'm just going to let him go. So we're going to go ahead and play rooftop right here. Try to see what we can find. I hear some people down below. I'm going to act on this piece of information, which is people over to my left, and try to see what we can find. And when those people, when those red dots pop up, those are actually people fighting. So I know that there's two teams. One, it allows me to push into the action. Two, just be aware that you're pushing into a situation where there are two teams so a lot of you ask joe how do i get you know avoid getting third party well yeah i'm gonna be in this situation i have to anticipate understand that you're in the action right here we get the down we get the thirst one more down below so i'm gonna go ahead and farm this last enemy i'm gonna let him live so that it gives us an opportunity to get more kills we're gonna see that guy over that way but we're just gonna let him live we're gonna let him go so that that whole team respawns back in allows us to get more kills. Gives us more opportunities to get more kills. Now, I make a crucial mistake here. And let me know when you see it or think about if you see it. And I'll give you the answer right now. Is I get this down right here. He's low health. I did not reload. This is one of the worst habits that I've been in lately. It's just not reloading. This guy ends up challenging me. And I, there's nothing I can do. That is a mistake that I make right there. It's something that I really need to improve on. Because once again, I am constantly doing that. Now, let's talk about regaining right here. We're on 12 kills. We've got a minute till the second circle closes, so we're on good pace. The 30 bomb's pretty much out the window at this point, but let's talk about what we can do. I've got two options here. I can go ahead and fly to loadout, which is definitely doable. I know there's people over there, so it's a little bit risky, but loadout is still up, and when it comes to regaining, you know, loadout plus one kill equals we're back. We're full plates. We've got information. I'm actually going to go ahead and choose another option, which let's play this scenario as if this loadout wasn't here to teach you a lesson, because a lot of times you're in that situation. What I'm going to end up doing is landing close to where I died, so I don't go full send for my stuff where I died because 
people are most likely still going to be there. Instead, I'm going to kind of check it out. I'm going to see what I can find. There's one enemy right there. So I'm actually going to land in Grandma's house and try to find a gun. Now, notice right here that there's multiple enemies right there, and they are fighting. So we've got two teams. So we actually get a little bit lucky here. There's a lot of buildings that we could have landed in. I end up landing in Grandma's house. I get a little bit lucky with the well gun, but the well gun now allows me to challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge right here. I'm able to get the down. I'm able to get the thirst. I notice that one enemy is over to my right now there is everything that i need here i'm going to be able to grab plates first of all i grab the stg just in case anybody else is going to be pushing which is something that you can do to regain as well is grab somebody else's loadout guns go to where you killed somebody or team wiped somebody grab their guns this way you can at least fight with loadout guns again the smg is the most important we're seeing a lot of people run the blixen the marco and the armagera so for the most part if you kill an enemy with loadout guns you're going to be able to grab one of those three we're going to grab Satchel, quick replate, and then we're going to go ahead and rotate back to my loadout guns. I know that my loadout guns are right here. I end up grabbing the NZ, which I thought was mine, but it's not, and we grab my SMG. So right here, I'm once again officially regained. I've got to reload the SMG, which I was about to do, and then I catch this guy right here. We get the down. We immediately check for that guy, and we notice that people are top prison. So right here... Again, go through the regain process. I've got my SMG. I've got an AR. I've got full plates. I'm good on ammo. I'm missing stims, but I can find stims at some point. I've got throwing knives. I've got information. The only thing I don't have is my perk one and my perk three. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can find here. I hear one floating around. Watch this play, by the way. We're going to break this down. This is absolutely insane. We get one right there. We're going to go. Actually, no, it's not just yet. We're going to die again here. Let's go ahead and die again. Go ahead and try to challenge that guy. He misses the window, but his teammate shoots me in the back. I can't get away because I didn't have those stims. It's unfortunate. So now what do we do? Once again, this is another option is to actually land where you die. So I'm going to play this a little bit aggressive. This is probably more aggressive than you should play, but I'm going to go ahead and grab my loadout guns right here. We're going to fly back in. We're going to be able to grab our SMG. I immediately challenge because they're so I know that there's somebody around me because I heard them reloading. So there's your regain process. And after we break down this clip, which is the nasty clip, we'll review all that for you. So we're going to go ahead, get the down. Don't get the thirst because I know there's another one behind me. We're going to go ahead, challenge this guy right here. Take a little bit more damage. We're very low health. I've got one plate, but I know that he is chasing me. So I'm going to go ahead and ego this a little bit. We're going to quick reload. Slide cancel around the corner allows me to get my crosshairs out. This guy comes zooming in. I get the break, so we're pretty much even right now. We are even health right here because I've broken him. I'm already broken, so now we just got to execute. Now, as I get this down, I notice that the second enemy is pushing right here. We get the thirst, which I probably shouldn't have, but I did, and now we immediately rechallenge with the slide cancel. We catch him off guard. He was low health because he just self-revived. Remember what I always say. If a guy self-revives, when you're in a solo duo, solo trio situation, or even solo quad, if you hear somebody self, they're going to be low health. So this guy played this so aggressive that he didn't really have any health allows me to get that kill because I get that small window. So to review the regain process, you can, of course, land back on loadout. Now, you get one shot to land back on your loadout, and then you got to give it up. If you try to land on your loadout and a team is camping it, that team is not going to move. I promise you. So, by the way, now we're fully back. We've got NZ, which was nerfed, by the way, so this was pre-nerf. We've got Marco, Stims, Throwing Knives, Perks are no perks, but we got plates. We got information. We're good to go. So you can land back on loadout. You get one shot. If that doesn't work, you can land close to your loadout and rotate over to that, you know, that direction until you can get that loadout again. Which the whole thing with grabbing a gun and rotating the loadout is if anybody gets shot, they get scared. So then you buy yourself just enough time to grab that loadout. You can land where you died. You can land close to where you died and rotate. You can land where you killed somebody, or you can full regain. We didn't really see the full regain right here, but at the end of the day, yeah, you can full regain. It just takes a little bit longer. Look for a contract. Look for a supply run. Look for a scavenger contract. Don't do a bounty to regain because it can potentially take too long. If you're going to full regain and you land far away, look for a scavenger or a supply run. This way, you can quickly get that done. We're able to get that down. We're able to get that thirst right there. Three other teams, 20 kills. Now, when we talk about endgame, we're going to play this aggressive but understand that end game's a great opportunity to be able to pick up more than four kills if you play positioning if you play you know find cover in circle and play the best position possible whether that's high ground whether that's you know it's generally high ground but not always point being is if you find a place with cover where you can 
be in circle you can pick up a lot of free kills you can easily pick up more than four kills because you rotate early you get to that position then you just hold everybody else out and you just have to execute we've got 21 kills right here we've got one other team three other people tcap and i and by the way we weren't even talking to each other this whole game we were just kind of going we get the uavs up and this is where tcap and i play together enough that we understand how each of us plays we understand to get uavs we've got 21 still don't know where this last team is besides the big game bounty we're able to get that thirst one flying in above i try to go for the throwing knife just for fun and one's going to be over this way so we got to still make sure that we clean this game up we've got this information right here i just can't quite see where he is we're going to challenge him down below i'm going to go for the three 60 throwing knife just for fun but overall i think mid game while we're just kind of chasing this guy to wrap up i think mid game is where a lot of you need to work on work on regaining a little bit quicker so that you can get back on that pace i mean throughout this game you saw how quickly i was able to regain go back to pushing enemies go back to playing fast using information to get back to on 20 kill pace we dropped 22 right here we dropped 44 as a squad i hope you found today's video helpful as i always say let's get better today and i will see you tomorrow